Okay, so hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to do I'm going to be doing a Christmas wish list 2020. So I did not do one of these last year, um, but at the moment they're really popular, so I thought I'd hop on the band wagon and give you some ideas. Now this is a really different setup, um, but it's we'll go with it. I actually quite like it. Um, but yeah, I've got two ring lights going. With different colours and stuff so we'll see how that goes so in this video like i want to do like a little disclaimer kind of thing i'm not expecting to get every single one of these presents um because some of them are a bit on like a few of them are a bit expensive um but i tend to get money for my uh, for christmas so i would use the money to get some of the things and stuff if you get what i mean um I know some people can't afford certain things, I'm completely aware of that, um, but my family, like all of my family have been asking me to do what, like, asking me what I want to do for Christmas, what I want for Christmas, why can't I talk? Um, and I thought it might be quite nice just to show you and give you some ideas if you are struggling. Um, so basically, I don't know how to put things up on the screen, so I've just got my iPad here with all the things on here, I've screenshotted them. There isn't actually that many, but I also did ask on Instagram um, what you guys have asked for um, to get some more ideas. Um, but yeah, but before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe and follow my social medias down below. Um, let's get started. Okay, so this first item is the Snazaroo uh, set, as you would say. So if I bring this forward. As you can see, I might need to turn my ring light down a little bit. As you can see, you get like the box and you get different colors and sponges and stuff. Um, now that, this one is more on the expensive side, but it's something that I will use all the time for my Instagram looks um, and general things like that. Um, now I have not asked my dad for this. I'm like, I'm gonna ask my dad for it. Uh, something else um but i'll get onto that in a little bit the next item that i've got is a new pair of trainers now if you don't follow my instagram make sure you do it's in the description um you know that i've been working on my actual prosthetic now and um i've i've got a youtube video that is out already um it's a day in the life one where i actually go and see my actual prosthetic for the first time uh, with all my design on it now obviously it's been a year it's been almost a year and a half since my invitation so the shoes that I own the right shoe which is obviously the one that I've got are all like not wrecked but have been used and stuff and obviously when you wear your prosthetic you don't want to wear one used one new um so I have put on there for some new trainers now I like certain trainers I I'll show you which ones that I like um, and they're good for the prosthetic, but, oh, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, I haven't, oh yeah, I haven't decided what shoes I want, but I was just looking up ones last night, and I thought these one looked, these ones looked pretty nice. Now, these are the Adidas Superstars with the gold on the tongue. Now, I've had these exact ones before I got them about three years ago and obviously I grew out of them and like they were used so much that they just had to go um but I've also got like a plain white Sam Smith with just the black on the back and I found these ones and I thought these were really nice with the flower and the gold bits um as you can tell I like those type of trainers I don't know actually what they're called but you know those ones in general um and I'm yeah and yeah, I'm really excited to get some new shoes. I love shoes. Um, like trainers, I don't like wearing like heels and dressy up shoes. Trainers are the way. Um, but yeah, you could... So, like the point of this video is to give you ideas as well as what I'm wanting slash buying and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I don't even know what happened then, but I need to refilm this whole thing. Uh, not all of it, like from the last clip onwards. 
I did get quite far into it, but it's fine. So the next thing on my list is similar to the Snazaroo face paint. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. I can't actually remember what I said. Um, it's a Snazaroo fit. Uh, no, Snazaroo. Similar to the Snazaroo face paint. It's from a brand called Tirova, and it's face body paint and it just comes with 12 different colors in this like jar thing now i have seen this all over tiktok and instagram of people doing amazing looks with things like that and they just look like generally nice colors and they look quite nice pigments and stuff so it's just something that will give me the opportunity as well um to do some more creative looks um and just general things like that because i'll use it quite a lot um, the next thing on my list is so random, honestly, I don't even know, like, why I put it on there, but I just really want it, but it's like a proper random thing, so it is a Terry's White Chocolate Orange, I never knew these existed until like a few weeks ago, um, and ever since I found out they existed, I've wanted one, because white chocolate is my favourite chocolate um and i never knew they did a white chocolate one so normally in our stockings we get some chocolates or under the tree or whatever um so i've asked for that one as a specific one um the next thing on my list these aren't the, uh, the exact specific ones that i want but they are just some black ripped jeans um i quite like jeans that skinny jeans that are also high waisted um and because i'm so tall and i've got quite a thinner waist compared to my height um it, it's hard finding jeans so i tend to get mine from new look because they do really good ones uh they aren't the specific ones i want like i said but i just fancied a new pair of jeans so i've got blue ripped i've got plain black um and I fancy just some black ripped ones because I used to have them like a year ago, but I outgrew them, um, which was really annoying. But I have got a gift card to use if needs be, but I, I've lost it <laughs> again. So I got it last Christmas and I keep losing it. So hopefully by the time we come out of this lockdown, I can go out and get it before the, um, the gift card expires. If not, that's why it's on my list just as a backup kind of thing now again these the, all my clothing items on here are not the specific ones that i want uh the joggers that i'm about to show you um these like I just wanted some gray joggers uh these aren't the specific ones that i want i don't even know which website these are off um oh it's puma you see the puma thing i saw some ones in primark that i absolutely love and when we went when I went in to get them, they didn't have my size, which was really annoying. But um, our, the, all the jo joggers that I own are from Primark because I absolutely love them. Uh, they're just so comfy and stuff. So that is definitely on my list um, to get. Then the last clothing item is just, it, this isn't a specific one again. Um, it's just a grey jumper. Now, I really don't mind has a hood if it doesn't have a hood if it has like the string bits if it doesn't but like, I'm not bothered just because I have a lot of jackets and I have one jumper one pink jumper um and I just fancy just a plain grey one that I can just wear with anything you know what I mean um but that's kind of it for my thing there's just one more thing um and this one is like my big present as you would say so yeah, tell a lie, there is, I forgot about this, there is something else before that, um, that I forgot because I didn't screenshot it, but if you know me, you know I have an absolute obsession with friends, um, and it's quite bad, like I've got a friend's cup on, oh you might not be able to see it. Oh, you can slightly see it. it's on my desk there and yeah it's a bad obsession but friend um, makeup revolution have just come out with a friends collection like the second one um and basically they do like eyeshadows 
body butters, bath bombs, coffee mugs, lip balm, lip masks, lip scrub, just things like that, lipsticks, lip glosses, mirrors, scrunchies, and I've just, I'm just going to put like anything from that collection. Um, yeah, just, that's, yeah, I don't have a specific one because I love it all, um, but it's all just beautiful and it just looks, I love Makeup Revolution, it's one of my favourite brands. Um, but yeah, that's the second to last thing. So the last thing is a new phone. Now, I use my phone for filming. Um, I have the iPhone 6S in rose gold with 32 gigabytes of storage. Now, it's, it works fine, but I smashed the screen. Not bad, I did it a while ago. If I take this out of here, let's see if I can show you all. So, as you can tell, kind of, it's hard to tell. Um, also, do you like the red bulb? Trying to get into the Christmas spirit. Um, let me just put you back into here. Yeah, so I said to my dad, I said, I'm not bothered about... Oh, there we go. I said, I'm not bothered about what phone it is. Um, I'm not bothered about, like, how much storage it's got in. Ooh, why can't I put this back? It's slightly too over, but we'll ignore it. Um... I said I just want a new phone. Um, I've had mine for two or three years now. So it's lasted me a while compared to my past with phones. But I said I don't mind if it's the iPhone 7. Like I'll, I'll love it. Like I said I don't mind. But he said like it's fine because I've treated this one well. Kind of. I smashed my screen in March of this year. The day I started shielding no the day before I started shielding I smashed my phone so that was an interesting event to tell my dad when he was away on holiday we won't talk about that but yeah on Instagram I did ask you um what have you guys asked for Christmas just to get some ideas so I'm not going to say names just because people might not like that and I haven't said on the thing that there will be their names will be said so they might get a bit angry. Uh, but someone said that they've asked for a salt lamp um, and a jewellery stand. I have a jewellery stand. I've had it for like six years. Um, and a salt lamp. Oh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look at that. Um, someone said a makeup. The makeup is a good idea. Skincare, also good. PlayStation, that was very good. Games. Games is a really good one because you can never get, have too many board games. You know, like, we play a lot of board games as a family, so we recently got a Monopoly. Um, it was just off one of the local selling sites. So we've got one of those now. Um, but yeah, board games, you can you can never go wrong. Um, someone said they've asked for perfume. That's a good one. Films and other things. Nice, and someone's put books about history. That seems quite cool. Um, sorry, my dad came upstairs. I've got a really itchy nose, and it's made my nose go red. So, uh, yeah, books about history is quite a good one. Not many people read books nowadays. I'm one of those people. I'm afraid I am. But um, yeah, that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope it gave you some ideas it might be absolutely useless like never know but um yeah i um i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe and like and follow my social medias down below and i'll see you in the next video bye